Hi, my name is Nick, and today we'll be showing you how to use your Lowtrek onboard computer. Let's get started. To sign on, it's as simple as selecting the Start Day button. Next, enter your driver number, followed by your driver passcode. The computer will log you in. HLS sync. And once the computer logs you in, select On Duty Not Driving. Confirm your duty status. Next, you'll move into your driver vehicle inspection. You can see here on the left hand side, you can scroll through different options such as air system, brakes, cab exterior repair, and cab interior repair. If everything passes, select Pass. Downloading. Make sure to sign, and your route should automatically download. Take a look at your route, confirm it for any errors. If there are no errors, accept the route by selecting Continue. Once you select Continue, your route will populate, and you'll get a bird's eye view of your route for the day. To arrive at a stop, it's as simple as selecting Arrive. Confirm your arrival. And the data will automatically be logged in the computer's GPS, as well as your DOT log. Once you've completed a stop, it's as simple as selecting Complete. Confirm your departure, and you're good to go. From the driver dashboard, you can access many things that will be useful to you as a driver using your Lowtrek onboard computer. You can see here all of your hours of service are displayed with your 8 hours, how many hours you've worked out of your 70, and your daily driving 11. At any time, you can view your HOS by selecting HOS from the left side of the screen. Here you can get a glimpse of your DOT log for the day, as well as view past logs simply by scrolling. In order to sync your HOS with the dispatch office, select Sync HOS. HOS Sync. In order to change duty status, Scroll down to change duty status and select it. To take your 30 minute required DOT break, it's as simple as changing your duty status to off duty. Confirm duty status and you're off duty for your break. To sign back on, it's as simple as selecting change status, on duty not driving, confirm duty status, and you're ready to go. In some cases you may have to select the sleeper berth provision. In order to do this, scroll down to change duty status, select sleeper, confirm duty status, and you're logged as sleeper. And again, to change your status back to on duty not driving, select change status from the HOS menu. Scroll to on duty not driving, select confirm, and you are back to on duty not driving. With your Lowtrek onboard computer, it's simple to send messages to the dispatch office. To do so, scroll down to messaging, select messaging, and from here you can send a free form message or some of the pre-programmed messages we offer, such as update received and understood, will call ASAP, or yes, message received. To send a free form message, select free form message. And you can begin typing a message into the computer. To send, select submit.
At some point, you may need to drop and hook to a different trailer. To do this, when you're in your route screen, select the trailer number. Do you want to drop trailer 321? Confirm as yes. The trailer has now been dropped. To add a different trailer, select the trailer icon again. Enter the trailer number. and you have hooked to a new trailer. To enter bill of lading numbers, fuel receipts, and trailer numbers, you can do this by simply scrolling to driver entry. Here you can select bill of lading, trailer number, your weight, and even late slips. To enter a bill of lading number, scroll to bill of lading, and start entering the number. With your LoadTrek onboard computer, it is simple to enter fuel receipt information into the system. Start by scrolling down to fuel entry. Enter the quantity of gallons purchased. Next, enter the price per gallon. Enter the invoice number, select the customer, and you're good to go. To adjust screen brightness, pull down from the top right hand corner of the screen. Select the brightness icon, and adjust the slider as necessary to adjust your screen brightness. Once the desired brightness is reached, click anywhere on the screen, and you're good to go. If you're at a relay and need to swap your truck with another driver, we make it easy using your LoadTrek onboard computer. First, you need to log out of the computer you're currently using in your current truck number. To do so, from the main menu, scroll down to End Day, and select End Day. Select Off Duty as your status. Confirm the duty status. In your DVIR, check the options for any errors. If any, everything passes, select Pass. Sign your DVIR. Next, you'll need to take a look at your HOS log for the day. If you don't see any errors, select Validate. Sign, and you're good to go. To log in again, into your new truck, select Start Day. Enter your driver number, enter your driver passcode, and the computer will log you in. Sync. Once you're logged in, select On Duty Not Driving as your status. Confirm duty status. Perform your DVIR on your current truck. If everything passes, select Pass. Sign your inspection. Confirm your route. And you're ready to go. Once you're logged into the computer, you can view a comprehensive dashboard of everything you'll need to know while you're driving. To open up the dashboard, start by scrolling down to Dashboard on the left-hand side of the screen. Select Dashboard, and you've arrived. Here, you can view hours of service information, vehicle data, a GPS map of your route for the day, as well as a listing of all of your stops on the right hand side. The orange circle here will display how many hours you've worked out of your eight hours before you have to take a 30 minute DOT required break. The next circle here will show you how many hours you have available out of your 70. The center circle 
will show the speed you're traveling in the vehicle. The next circle will show your average fuel economy. And the last circle will show the current vehicle RPM. On the right hand side here, you can scroll through all of your stops and see which ones have been completed and which ones you still have to go to. To open up the route screen, just select one of the green boxes. Once you've completed your route for the day, you'll need to end your day on the Lowtrek onboard computer. To do this, scroll down and select End Day. Select Off Duty as your status and confirm the duty status. Next, you'll need to perform your DVIR. If there are no errors, select Pass. Sign the inspection. Next, you'll need to confirm your HOS log. If there are no errors, select Validate. Sign your log to confirm and you've ended your day.